the Ooh. 27. Looks like the option, but what is going on here? Why was why was knight d5 played? I mean, your one knight is attacked and you responded by uh, putting your other knight on pre as well. This is insane chess. Can you okay. make sense of this for us? Let, let's just see how we got there. So it's a bishop b5, e6 is very responsible. Knight e7, all fine so far. Yes, bishop f1, this is normal. Ah, b6 is a little bit unusual. Previously, we've seen d5 played here and then you know moves like this and then d4 for example and yeah you could say white is a little bit better this bishop still has to come into play so maybe that's Ali Reza's idea he wants to play b6 and bring this into the game and now we've gone into a kind of a strange kind of open Sicilian where white has kind of expended all these tempi with the bishop but black is very slow with kingside development. So knight f5, well, with the rook on e1, this looks very inviting, I have to say. And, and you know, I've I, I played the Sicilian all my life with, with white and black. And, and if you get in the knight f5 sacrifice, then it is very, very dangerous. It's very powerful. Not only that, he's now got knight d5 in. So, for example, if this is taken, let's have a look. Obviously, discovered check, the knight comes here. Now, worst case, we can just get the piece back. And that knight on f5, that is the Sicilian player's nightmare. Because mm. that piece is just such a powerful piece. So instead, Ali Reza played here, f4 anyway, of course. And Ali Reza is thinking, this looks like a dream position for Anish here, actually. I have to say, um, I, would, I would hate to play this as black. Um, those, you know, it's so dangerous to take those knights. That king is like a sitting duck in the middle of the board. This, this is Dreamsville for White, I have to say. Don't like it at all for Ali Reza. And Anish is leaning back. He's definitely very confident with the position he has on the board. Uh, the clock situation also speaks for itself. Almost 15 minutes while Ali Reza is down to nine and a half minutes. Uh, Danny, you were pointing out this line before knight e5. If black actually takes on d5 or f5, either of these knights, how dangerous that can be uh, to open the e-file. And I want to ask you, because I was looking at that now, if you just back up a move, because this is such a fascinating opening where you kind of leave both knights hanging uh, and you're just saying whatever you take, uh, I just want to go down and hunt that king on e on the e-file. So let's say you take on d5, d5. Now knight e5, like you said, f4 is uh, is always in the air. But what happens if black goes knight e7? It's a very ugly move. Uh, and of course, it uh, looks like something you don't want to play. But after all, it is a peace sacrifice. How does white generally continue in these Sicilian <laughs> teams? Or what well do you do? I will be rubbing my hands with glee <laughs> in this position. This is just fantastic because, well, do you know what? I, I'm not sure I even want to make a move with white. Mm. I'm just, I'm just going to say, okay, how do you move any of your kingside pieces? I mean, this is, this is Black's problem. If mm. this one isn't moving, this one isn't moving. Uh, I mean, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. Um, okay. So you want me to make a move? Well, you know, I'm tempted just to make. Well, for example, if I put my queen in the middle of the board and, you know, worst case, I'll take here or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this it looks absolutely dreadful. Um, can, I, can I be... I see you're really enjoying this question a lot, Danny. This is like a dream position for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really, well, but also a nightmare position because, you know, I've suffered like this with Black as well. <laughs> so, you know, I've been on both sides of this one. Uh, but I think, I mean, this just looks amazing um it, I mean, it really it, does listen i suppose you know bishop c8 we've got to try and get rid of this piece um i mean maybe this this spoils white's position in, in taking this but i don't see i mean you know rook g8 isn't even possible mm. here because of this oh wow um yeah. uh followed by bishop g5 i mean white, this is white, a nightmare this I is mean, a white, nightmare for black white, white isn't even has two pawns Mm. Um, so it, it's, 
I'm not even going to say compensation. To me, it just looks like one of those typical positions where white is just winning. The problem for black is that white's king is completely safe. There, there are no weaknesses in white's position. So there is zero counterplay. And if black is reduced to making a move like rook g8, well, bring it on. Uh, you know, bishop g5, and it looks absolutely terrible. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, I think... Well, yeah, I, you just I, don't I, go for such a line, even though no. you've got an extra piece, nothing moves. And it's a position that Ali Reza would never play. But what we do have on the board is a bit of a transposition of what you were looking at earlier, where the D5 knight is picked up, black goes knight E5, F4 on the board, a different move order, but the same position. And now queen D7. So hitting that knight on F5 makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think if white hurries up with f takes e5 i think black has enough time to actually pick up the f5 knight because what you do have is a check on the e5 let's just show that after queen d7 here uh f takes e5 queen f5 e takes d6 you step away with the king probably to d7 looks fine because rookie seven is under control and i don't really see uh that much to be scared of for for black here so perhaps <laughs> I, would, I would still be terrified I have you to would say. be terrified but but but, no, but of course white doesn't as you say white does not need to play like that mm. and of course in playing queen d7 this is basically you know black has given himself the option to castle the queen side just to get the king out however that is not a beautiful position for the king. So, you know, it could be a case of out of the frying pan and into the fire if he castles queenside. So I'm not sure white needs to go completely crazy here. Um, I would be very tempted to, well... Bishop we need... d3 maybe just a move to try and get the bishop out as well as defend the knight on f5, but then the d5 pawn is a bit annoying. Yeah, I wonder whether we can uh, defend it in another way. Uh, now move to kind of cement that pawn on d5 i also want to point 